there is hope for the downcast soul as we wrap up our lesson this day and this week. We talked about hope against depression. The Bible does not deny the depressive state. In fact, the Bible gives us signs and you can see those signs in our lessons from earlier this week. But thank you, Jesus, that we see these were real people in the Bible who have real problems from Elijah to David, even to Micah, even to me. I myself um, dealt with some serious challenges and really God delivered me by his grace and through the power of his spirit and even through my wife who taught me how to not focus on myself and focus on my own failures, but to find faith in God uh, and to realize that I serve a forgiving Lord and that God understands me. And even not just in spite of my, my messed upness, but even because of it, he uses that to help someone else who may be struggling just like me. When you look at the depressive state, what Micah showed us yesterday is that he chooses to look at God. In our verse for the day, the question is asked, uh, so why are you downcast? In fact, look there in Psalm, Psalm 42, verse 5. Why are you cast down, O oh my soul? Why are you disquieted within me? The question is rhetorical because what are we told to do? Hope in God. So the downcast soul has a downward gaze that leads one to just always be down. But there's a reason why God made us so that we would stand erect, so that we would have the ability to look up and to look and gaze on him, not ourselves, hoping in God. That's what he taught me to do in my season of depression. And even in our seasons where we're feeling down, friends, that is the very time to look up. Sometimes that's why God lets us get knocked on our behinds, because it's only then that on our back, lying there, that we'll look up and see his face. So I encourage you today to use the power of choice that God has given each one of us. To choose to not be defeated. To choose to not be negative, but to choose the ultimate reality which is his grace and his mercy, his righteousness, and understanding that God is always trying to bring us up higher, never, ever lower. So friends, I pray that you've been encouraged. I encourage us to continue to pray for one another. Use that time of communion with Jesus. Talk to someone who is godly and who is, has a walk and who knows how to, to go through storms. And even if you find, like I said, that no one has the time or the availability or the ears to listen, always know that even if you can't speak, even if you just think it, that Jesus is there and he will help you. He will give you hope that is greater than your depression. Be encouraged in your walk, friends, and we'll make it together. Until next time, please remember that change is good.